All right, YouTuber David Harry here, and this is one of my preliminary microphone tests. Now, this is to do with the BM800 modifications. So, there will be a link in the description and stuff there to a playlist which will explain what I'm doing with this particular microphone and stuff and how I'm going about modifying it and the process to do it. But this video is one of the videos where I'm doing my test of a particular capsule inside this setup. So just, just quickly anyway, the idea here is to modify BM800, strip all the guts out of it, and then just put a standard ECM capsule in it of something else, and then have it wired up in such a way that it can plug straight into a camcorder or anything, DSLR, whatever. So no external recorder necessary, no phantom power, nothing like that. This all powers directly from plug-in power. Now, what I've got here is the, the body of the microphone that I've ripped out to put in here, which is a Comiket CVM VM10 Mark II. Now, the thing is, I'm just going to talk a bit, and this will give me an idea of stuff, uh, and I can work things out in post and all the rest of it, and have a good listen, and see what's going on. Because obviously, the, the idea with this microphone is to come up with my own something, which I'm going to be happy with as a close mic microphone like this, uh, you know, for this type of position. Position. Only problem is all these capsules are all going to be cardioids, which are just going to exhibit serious issues with plosives being so close. Hopefully this hasn't been going mad plosive and stuff like that. Although I will push me peas in a second uh, to see. That sounds mad because I'm going to push me pee. <laughs> that sounds like you're going to strain yourself on the toilet. <laughs> oh, don't go there, David. Right, that's not one of those videos. <laughs> right, so basically what I'm doing, obviously, is trying to work stuff out here <clears throat> to build something. Now, basically, I I bought this uh, BM800 for like £8 or something uh, with the phone filter and all the rest of it. And I've recently managed to buy another BM800 for £12 on Amazon. So, basically, the idea is to like buy a BM800, rip it to bits, and then replace the capsule with something better and something that's more reliable for plugging straight into a camera. Because as anyone will know who uses these BM800s and stuff like that, loads of them don't work properly when you plug them into cameras or some of them don't even work with phantom power or some need phantom power. The, the, the manufacturing processes for these microphones is absolutely without any rules. Uh, they are just basically mass-produced and, like, rebranded things. Now, every now and then, you'll find one that is surprisingly really good. But for the best part, they're mostly terrible, to be honest, you know. And, it, you know, and, and if, if you're only going to spend £12, then fair enough, do you know what I mean? Or if you're somebody who doesn't hear the difference in these things, then, again, £12, fair enough. Who could argue with that? However, I'm trying to find something that I can use uh, for this type of setup because something like this, this could even plug straight into... Um, do I have it to hand? Actually, I do. This this microphone can plug straight into a controller. So the microphone input on a controller, this could go straight into and it'd be powered by it and stuff like that. Because um, a lot of these controllers for the games, you know, for like the, you know, the games consoles and that, they do supply um, like plug-in voltages and stuff like that, which is really cool. Anyways, um, the biggest problem that I'm going to have here is plosive. So let me just try that. P, 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 plosive, plosive, P, P, P. Now, I wasn't pushing that P too hard there, so let me go and strain myself now. <laughs> P, 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 plosive, plosive, P, P, P. Also, as well, I'm talking with my regular voice here, and my regular voice is loud. Cool thing about this, or not so cool for me, but would be cool for someone else. This particular capsule is like really sensitive by the looks of it. And the camera is on its very first notch for the gain. And I've got a really cool input on the go. In fact, on that point right now, what we are hearing is the level as it went in. So this is the level straight as it's gone in without any post-processing. And then right now, this is me lifting the level back up in post with a limiter. If I did that, I still don't know how strong the level was going in. So anyways, right now, if I have done it, this is my re-leveled version. No compression, no EQ, just limiting so I can lift it higher to get the output louder for YouTube. Um, okay, yeah, so basically this microphone cost me, um, let's see, £8 for the mic. 
and I was lucky because I picked up some of these comicas for I think twenty five pounds. So this microphone cost me what? What's that? Thirty three pounds, something like that. Now even if you have to pay full whack for these things, you're probably talking I think forty pound for a comica CVM VM ten Mark II, and you're also talking. So, well, I can definitely say you can pick these up for twelve pound at varying times on Amazon the BM eight hundreds. So what's that? Fifty two pounds you could build something like this for. And then you've also still got a system, you've got a microphone here where you could put, say, a Primo EM272 in it, right, for £12 or £12.50, how much they, they cost. Then you've got yourself a fantastic Omni mic as well. So you could end up building two brilliant microphones for like less than £70. Although, like I say, I've done this a lot cheaper than that because I just go looking for bargains and then try picking things up whenever I can, you know, at like low prices and stuff. So if you're prepared to like, you know, fish around for these things. Oh, and also as well, this BM800 obviously come with the foam on it. It come with the cable and they come with the scissor stand as well. I'm not saying you're going to pick that up for £8 all the time, but if you look around, you can most certainly pick these sets up for about £16, but most people probably don't even need the um the what's the name the scissor stands anyway they probably already got something like that anyways what i'll do now i'm just going to take this out of its thing here out of its uh, suspension cradle and do a quick cardioid test okay i'm gonna have to be careful here because i don't have much cable to play with so i'm totally on axis right now so this should be its loudest now that there is 90 degrees off axis and don't forget i'm close mic there so it is still going to be quite loud now there is the other 90 degree axis so we've heard how both of those 90 degree axes sound and the reason why i'm doing that is because i will leave the the rear till last because what we're probably going to hear here is the rear is actually quite loud i i've already done a quick test of this capsule in the past and hold on let me get back around to the front and it would suggest to me that this capsule is a super cardioid which is actually going to help even more indoors in these situations as well it says cardioid on the box i believe but it, it does sound like it's a, a a super because it does have that little bit of a real lobe characteristic on the back let me just lob this back into the uh the, the what's the name the suspension cradle here Okay, so that should just about do it then for this video. Um, what I'm going to do is obviously follow this up with more tests of different capsules within this body. So once again, there's a playlist and there's also a video showing how to gut this thing, you know, in preparation to put capsules in and stuff like that. Now, just one last thing. Right now, that is like um, like the absolute closest proximity you could get away with with this. I am holding back a little bit here on the P's and stuff. So P, 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 plosive, plosive, P, P, P. But again, that is only on its first level input there. I don't even know if it might be distorting the input. I'm not too sure. It is extremely healthy. But this will give you a clear idea as to, the, you know, the, the, the closest proximity sound from it. And just quickly, I'll just take the foam off there. So that there, I'd say that's a sensible, it's about three inches there. That's a sensible place. I'm not going to start putting it to the side and all that stuff, blah, blah. That can be done in another video. This is initially to get a feel for the tone of it and all that stuff. Tone, tones adventures. It, this is to get... <laughs> This is to get a feel for the tone of it and all that. Um, again, though, right on top of the capsule, it could be distorting going in actually because it, well, I don't think it, I don't think the capsule would be distorting. It's just despite the fact that I'm on the lowest level on my count order, this the signal coming out the back of this is superb. It's it's really strong. Anyways, I think that'll probably do it. In fact, you know what? People might just want to know what it sounds like if you got it at a sensible not say sensible because to be honest right this distance right now this is not sensible if you want to do that close mic thing okay it's sensible for the microphone but it's not necessarily sensible for you because i will have like regained this back up again a bit here as well uh, just so that it wasn't too low compared to the stuff i've been doing before and but that type of distance there is definitely sensible for the microphone but not so sensible for you to be able to like get the best out of like you know your dialogue because right now we're probably hearing a bit more of the room as well and uh, because i've had to gain up now with this distance and 
we're going to pull in more of the room. So the idea about getting it closer to you is, yes, it's not so good for the mic or the capsule, but it's better for you because your sound is going to kind of like become more fuller and stuff. And also you kind of like proportionally knock more of the room out because of that. And the other thing as well, let me just finish off now, right? This this will definitely be finishing this off because I've got a coffee there going cold. <laughs> In fact, you know what? I've just been out with my GoPro and that just screwed up. I did a take outdoors uh, explaining what happened to me GoPro and I, I, I swore all over it. So I might do a coffee with David after this one. <laughs> Anyways, yet yeah, so one of the things I'm trying to do here as well is just to see if it's possible to not have to spend a ton of money to get the kind of sound that people are associating with like this close podcasty vloggy thing. So, you know, with the likes of, say, a Shure SM7B and all the rest of it. And here's another thing as well. You get a Shure SM7B and something like that, you're going to be using a cloud lifter. You're going to need pa- uh, you're going to need phantom power for the cloud lifter. And then, you know, most people are messing around in post-production with EQ and all kinds of stuff right now. You're hearing this for exactly what it is, and the only thing that's happening is I'm raising it in post via 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 the way of a limiter. Anyways, that'll definitely do, David. This was meant to be just a short example for you to get an idea. Oh, wait there, a uh, quick noise test. So just listen to how low the noise is on this. Okay, that's going to do it for that. Now, don't forget, there's going to be a playlist and all kinds of stuff being built up over time with this and the process for doing it and all the rest of it. If anyone's come across this preliminary test, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Ha ha! And David Harry, thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.